Hi wrestling fans, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you for joining us here on YouTube. Remember, it's very important that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like these videos. It really helps out the channel and we appreciate your support. Thanks a lot. The following contest is for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Hardcore Championship. In this match, there are no countouts and no disqualifications. And again, welcome wrestling fans to the AIWF Mid-Atlantic. Right, he wants to come out here and get this at him too with uh, Ty Tyson. He better hope that he knows what he's getting getting himself into because if he don't Ooh, have you got anything that right. less than a kitchen sink, he ain't getting out of here alive with Ty Tyson. And Tyson, before we were so rudely interrupted, I know that uh, in the past that I had uh, said that I didn't think Ty Tyson Ladies was worthy. Ladies this contest we'll let is scheduled for one fall for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Hardcore Championship. In this match, there will be no disqualifications and no countouts. Introducing first, the challenger. He weighs in tonight at 285 pounds from Alta Vista, Virginia, James Harris. His opponent, is the reigning AIWF Mid-Atlantic Hardcore Champion, weighing in tonight at 295 pounds, from Valhalla, the Heathen Berserker, Ty Tyson! One fall to a finish. Uh, like I said uh, before, we were rudely interrupted. I uh, I had said before that I didn't think Ty Tyson was worthy of carrying my legacy by carrying that title. The thing is, I did think that he could carry on my legacy, but the issue was that I needed to know for sure. And the only way to know for sure was to face him one-on-one -on -one in the ring in that cage. And uh, not only did he prove himself, he proved himself tenfold in that matchup. I have no doubts that the future of AIWF Hardcore is in safe hands with this man, Ty Tyson. Oh, what a chop. Well, you sure gained more of our respect than ever, Brian, by doing that. Oh, oh, yes, indeed, by far, Brian. I mean, just the amount of respect that you have knowing that your hardcore legacy with you personally has gone, but it still lives on forever through Ty Tyson. That's right. You passed the torch. He was the better man that night, and you I recognized that. Right. But I didn't notice when uh, you and Ty were talking over there before y'all did get rudely interrupted by James Harris and so stupidly coming out here and challenging him for a hardcore match. I noticed as y'all was walking back, y'all stopped and had a little conversation. Do you, it, uh -oh. Is there something, go. anything to that that we need to know about? Well, there, uh, there certainly is. Oh, uh-oh, got my favorite toy right there. Ouch, with it. No, it certainly isn't. I know firsthand that that certainly does not feel good. I but, hope he brought some Tylenol with him and some bandages. But now, um, Kevin, what you're asking, uh, was there something to that conversation? Yeah, there certainly was something to that conversation. Uh, however, at this time, I'm, I'm uh, not really at liberty to divulge uh, exactly what that conversation uh, entailed. Uh, you know, I'm right now, not only am I in the beginning stages Oh, oh, reversal. Oh, man. Ty Tyson got sent into that barbed wire. Well, I mean, 
<laughs> I could totally understand that as a, uh, a as a private conversation between one hardcore legend to a newly crowned hardcore legend. So, but like I said, much love and much respect with how you handle the situation. True class act. And it's great to have you back here on the broadcast. Uh oh. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. Oh, he's got Ty busted up there, Brian. Yes, he certainly does. It uh, doesn't take much. It doesn't take much when you uh, put somebody's head into some barbed wire to uh, uh, to cut them up. However, you know when Brian, I'll tell you what, though, when Ty gets b busted, he gets more dangerous. Yeah. Boom! Oh! Oh! Home run. Ouch. Here we oh. Oh. Somebody been stealing some road signs again. Ty Tyson is in a lot of trouble right now. However, we've seen We've seen Ty in, in, in trouble like this before. Uh, it's going to take a lot to uh, to uh, put him completely down. Rubbing Ty's blood on his shirt. That's a little kind of weird. He's got the kendo stick. Right across the back. Ouch. Again. Ty fighting back. Oh, what a chop. Big chop there by Tyson. He's got the kendo stick. Oh. Going back under the ring. Had a, it's like a uh, battle of the metal sheets. Oh, it's like a shotgun going off. He is, he is, he is out on his feet right now. Not on his feet right now. I didn't think hunting season started yet. Yeah, you would, you, you would think so, but. Uh, Sounded like a shotgun going off when he hit him in the head yeah. with that metal pan. Mm. Ty Tyson unable to uh, uh, to capitalize, but now he's uh, under the ring looking for more weapons. What is he? There's a lot of stuff under that ring. But the the old classic metal chairs. Several, several of those steel chairs in the middle of the ring. And what else has he got? Shades of, <laughs> shades of uh, the kitchen sink. Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, ECW. They're just going to lay it all out on the line. Get all those weapons right in the center of the ring. Ty Tyson, tell him to bring it on. Didn't Terry Funk, wasn't he the one that tore Cactus Jack's ear off? I believe it was Vader that did that. Oh, okay. Harris for the cover. And just a two count. I'm sure he's very frustrated right now. Uh, a, a normal man would have been uh, put out by that, but uh, Ty Tyson is no normal man. That's right. Taking that metal great. Setting it up in the corner. Hi, Tyson. Worse for wear, but still on his feet. Ow! Oh. Mm. That metal grade just bent under the weight. And Tyson going for that 
saw blade baseball bat. Uh-oh. No. He's going to grate somebody. He's digging that Ice. saw blade into the head. Ow. My goodness. This is brutal. But again, like I said, here at AIWF Mid-Atlantic, we're going to give you a little bit of everything. You're going to get... Uh, you're going to get high flyers. You're going to get technical wrestlers. Oh! And you're going to get good hardcore brawling, just like this. We'll give you a little bit of everything. That's right. You should come visit us sometime if you're close by. Anytime AIWF has an event near you, whether it's Mid-Atlantic or any other 97 promotions around the world. You're exactly right. Going in. Nice oh. drop toe hold into the chair. This could be it. No, he's still in this. Very impressive. You got to give it up to him. He's uh, um, taking a lot of punishment, but uh, still able to uh, uh -oh. still able to come back. Oh no, he's got it up. Oh. Ah! Right across the back. Not only the hard metal of that steel chair sandwiched, just sandwiches that uh, barbed wire onto your flesh, just digging it in even more than it normally would. Ty Tyson saying that it's over. It may very well be. At the ripcord. Duck. Nice stunner there. Oh. Tyson's still on his feet. Oh, what Big clothesline. If he can make the pin right now, we may not have a new hardcore champion. Two. Oh! I thought that was it. You couldn't. I don't think you could either. Ty Tyson at the, the last microsecond, able to kick out. No, you're absolutely right. Tyson working his way to his feet. He's wobbly. Oh, Harris missed. Oh! Six. What a stunner. This could be it right here. Two. Oh, how did he kick out of that? Well, one of the reasons uh, Ty Tyson has taken so much damage in this matchup, he wasn't able to uh, uh, complete a, a, uh, a, a full, full cover pin. It's, if he hits it on the... That has to be it right there. That has to be it right there. And it is Ty Tyson. Here is your winner, and still, AIWF Mid-Atlantic Hardcore Champion, Ty Tyson! I tell you, Harris is going back to Alta Vista with a massive headache. He certainly is, and uh, you got to give it up to this guy. Yep. He came out and uh, uh, ran his mouth. He didn't come up with the victory. However, uh, he did have a good showing. And uh, he put up a hell of a fight yes, against Ty Tyson. And, uh, but uh, in the end, the heathen berserker, once again, victorious here at AIWF Mid-Atlantic. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's just the beginning of this episode tonight, AIWF Mid-Atlantic. We still have the sure shot rumble that's going to decide who will go up against the champion the championship that's currently held by Justin Flash who will get a shot at that belt at Fright Night right here in Mount Airy, North Carolina Saturday, October 28th Oh yeah and I cannot wait and yes, uh, James Harris, he come out, I told you sometimes coming out with that cocky attitude Brian, it don't it, it don't fare well in the end. 
And like you said, the healing berserker, Ty Tyson, walks out victorious once again. That's a lot of class oh. right there. Sign but, of respect. That's right. But you know, fellas. Good Lord, Kevin. Look at that thing. Yo, Chris, come here. Look at this. You oh, that's that? huge. Dude. Man. That might be the biggest one I've ever I seen. Know, right? Look, look at this. Look. That's huge, man. It's like a baby's arm, man. Yeah, 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 I know. Man. That's nice, man. What can I say, guys? You know, Yo, check this out, man. Check that you out. See what is all the... Oh. My. Gosh. Yeah, that's right. It's the king's hot dog. Yes, sir. It's a very good hot dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. The rumors are true. The king dog. 14 inches of pure beef. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Sure Shot Rumble. Let's find out who our first competitors are. Split. Split. Where'd he come from, Butner? Yes. Split. So split. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, Split! I think he needs to go back to Butner home. Yeah, he, he definitely... He looked like a religious man. Did you see him playing? He might he, need he some prayer. <laughs> uh, I think that may, that, that may be where he got his name. <laughs> Heavyweight champion, Kevin Phoenix. I'm sure he wasn't expecting to have to face somebody of the caliber of Kevin Phoenix in this matchup. I never thought I'd see Kevin Phoenix in pink, but you never know about him. Yeah, he certainly will. He don't. Split already. Uh... Split already looked uh, pretty disturbed when he first came out. This chant for Kevin Phoenix has uh, gotten him even more upset. He's going to go for the lockup. Kevin Phoenix with the mind games. Hope this guy took his Prozac. Doesn't look like it. He's ready to lock up. He's ready to fight. But Kevin Phoenix with the mind games. He, uh, he almost eliminated himself with that, with that big point. Oh, who do we got now? It's Ty Tyson. Ty Tyson just ha just got through with a brutal hardcore matchup just a few minutes ago, but that's the luck of the draw, or the I guess the unluck of the draw in this yeah. in this case. Yeah, man, he ain't. Looks like he's seen a ghost. He ain't had time to rest, Harley. Split. Looks like he may be able to. Looks like he's thinking that uh, he's going to uh, take a break while these two. Go at it. Oh. <laughs> after you, after you, sir. Oh. Uh oh, he just Split. made a mistake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, I don't know if he's got a sternum left after that. Ain't taking him to the woodshed. I tell you, we thought we thought he uh, we thought he drew bad luck by getting Kevin Phoenix, but now he has Kevin Phoenix and Ty Tyson, and looks like both uh, both Phoenix and Tyson are uh, are ready to uh, to uh, take this guy out. Up on his shoulders. Oh my oh, God! They're toying with him like a cat with a mouse. I wow. think they're ready. Ty just introduced Split and said, Welcome to Ragnarok, my friend. He certainly did. Somebody's hey, taking a flight. Getting, getting ready to go over that rainbow bridge right about now. Bye, Split. Split. Over the. Nope. And there he goes. The first to be eliminated. 
And oh. just in time, oh, here comes Matt Anderson. Anderson. I know these guys get along, but sometimes you got to put your friendship aside. You certainly this do. This is the time they're going to have to. Looks oh. like uh, the alliance between Kevin Phoenix and, uh, and Ty Tyson uh, is, uh, yeah. is lasting past the, uh, the elimination of Split. Looks like they were going to team up against Matt Anderson. However, Matt Anderson, the freshman Ow. in the ring, was able to uh, uh, was able to take the advantage. Big chops by Anderson. He's doing the right thing, taking his time, going at a slow pace because it's gonna it's gonna be a while with the uh, two minutes before each uh, before each contest. eliminating baby lotion so maybe one day in the future baby lotion but uh, your uh, your shot at the AWF Mid-Atlantic title is uh, is not today nice pointed elbow there by by Phoenix That's right. oh trifecta right there shades of dusty roads Pretty boy Lane. Going. He's going after the bigger guy, taking out his leg. And he's the fresh man in the ring, so uh, that's that's the best time to uh, to go after all these guys who've been beating on each other this whole time. Oh, 
Matt Anderson with the chop. And Pretty Boy Lane going under the bottom of the rope. That, that does not eliminate him because see, you have to go over the top rope in order to be eliminated from the matchup. Yeah, you're exactly right. So Pretty Boy Lane still in this match. And so far, I mean, even James Harris, he's still in this match. He just rolled out and hit the floor underneath the bottom rope. So neither one has technically been eliminated as of yet. Ty Tyson, tired of... Uh, Tired of Lane uh, just being on the outside, not wanting to fight. Now he makes his way into the ring. But now he's facing Poked the bear too many times. Yeah, you better run. Oh, and again, it's now. a nice knee there by Kane. And now that. Uh, now that Pretty Boy Lane has his, uh, his uh, new tag team partner in the ring with him, now he's, now he's willing to fight. However, they're doing a little too much celebrating. <laughs> Timber. Double elbows. They had the advantage by, uh, by being a team. Big chop there by oh, Anderson. My goodness gracious. Kane still filling that one. One for Pretty Boy Lane as well. You know, somebody, Making their way into both corners, but both of them in the same corner. Freight train, freight train coming. Somewhere in his family must have been a lumberjack. Harris going after Anderson. Anderson, shoot him in. Close line down. The ring's getting oh, dangerous. He's getting ready to heat up he, now. Oh, he's done run scared. He's not going in yet. Whether or not uh, you agree with it, it is a smart strategy to, uh, you can call him a chicken all you want, but uh, he's, do he's doing the right thing by uh, letting some of these other guys clear each other out, being the fresh man in. Oh, look at that spot. Now he's coming in. Getting a measure of revenge for him coming out uh, a few weeks ago interrupting uh, his beatdown of Baby Lotion Brown. Oh, Matt Anderson with the block. Knocker knocker. Big shot there. Uh-oh, Matt. Anderson. Be careful. Oh, no. Oh, Anderson's out. Oh, he has a side step. Matt Anderson went over the top rope and eliminated by his own momentum. And again, you may not agree with it, but it was very smart. On the oh, part of oh, the Phoenix doing the right thing. Corey over the top of the corner. And Corey Etzel is one of the biggest competitors in this matchup. If he's able to eliminate him, oh. that will that will be a uh, uh, a big time uh, big time obstacle to be removed to uh, uh, to uh, to get a shot at that AIWF Mid Atlantic title currently held by uh, Justin nice Flash. Comes the marvelous one himself, marvelous Mason Matthews, the Triple M. Tyson and uh, Corey Etzel going at it in the corner. Oh, Kane and Lane over there. Hey, that was a rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> Kane and Lane over there going back to Mason Matthews, but he comes out. Oh, he pulls him out of his cell. Etzel going for the cover, but uh, there is no cover in this matchup. Why is he doing a three count? <laughs> Kevin Phoenix.
Uh oh. Watch out below. Again, there, yeah. are, there yeah. are no friends in a in a battle royal like this. Yeah. That's right. And Corey Etzel playing it smart. He's uh he's eliminated two of the biggest men in the matchup. The only other big man in currently is Ty Tyson. And now he's going after him. So it's a very smart strategy by Corey Etzel eliminating the big man so he can be the one lone big man in the match. Kevin Phoenix oh, barely hangs on by a thread. Corey Etzel. Ty Tyson making the save. Oh, Buddy Flowers. Buddy Flowers. You know he's got something to say. Big knee there. He's handing out. Oh. He's handing out flying knees left and right. Shades of Harley Race. Double flying knee. Boy, Lane's chest is off a red right there. It certainly is, and uh, Buddy Flowers definitely not one of the bigger men in this matchup, but uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see him win tonight and uh, get that shot at Justin Flash at Fright Night. Oh, I mean, anything can happen. All it takes is three seconds, Brian. It don't matter if you're big or if you're little, if you're slow or you're fast. All it takes is one mistake in three seconds. Yep, that's exactly right. Exactly right. And in this matchup, it doesn't even take three seconds. All it takes is for you to fly over that top rope and for your both feet to touch the ground. If that happens, then uh, then uh, then your your dream of getting that uh, AIWF title, the most prestigious one here in the Mid Atlantic area, getting that shot is uh, at least in this matchup is all but going away. And there's several, there are several competitors in this matchup that, while they may be the caliber to be able to defeat Justin Flash. Oh, the big man himself, JT Whoa! Oh, what a save right there! Nice save there by JT Moss. There's nothing in the books that says you can't do that. No, but oh, oh but my that was different. All for naught. There's another big man for Corey Etzel to contend with. And you saw, you saw Corey Etzel went right for him. That is his strategy in this matchup. And it's a very good strategy to go after the biggest uh -oh, of the big. Out. Here goes Lane. There he is. Almost JT out the Moss goal. eliminating Pretty Boy Lane, getting a measure of revenge for the attack that he did on him before. And now Moss. It's all your fault, Brian Jansen. Get it's all your fault. Well, I don't see how it's my fault, but I'll take the blame for it. <laughs> JT Moss. JT Moss very well may be the dark horse in this matchup. You got I know, that right. I know uh, some people don't take him seriously because of the, uh, the, the big drop kick by Dangerous E. Corey Etzel out of nowhere. He certainly did get his big ass down. Etzel out there like he's the boss or something. And Etzel cradling that bottom rope, uh, getting a, uh, getting it, giving himself a break. I'm sure it uh, took a lot of energy for him to uh, to do that. Who's uh, this guy? Another newcomer. Another newcomer to the AIWF. We have not seen this uh, this competitor, but he is going to get his shot. Can you imagine that? Oh. Can you imagine RKO's? There's two of them. Can you imagine this newcomer that? 
We don't even know this guy's name. Wow. But what if this guy came in, Man. got a shot at the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight wow. Championship in his very first match? I mean, he's got the look. He's got the physique. He's definitely got the moves. So this guy, we could, we're talking about JT Moss being a dark horse. This guy right here. Oh, big uh, Canadian well, destroyer. I guess we got our answer. He's out. Yep. Made a strong showing. What is Buddy up to? Made a strong showing. Ladies and gentlemen, all entrants are now participating in the match. So there will be no Ow. there will be no more entrances. Yeah, he hit this he hit this ring barrier pretty hard. Yeah, I, I felt when he when he hit the ring bar barrier, it, it moved our table uh, at, uh, almost a foot. <laughs> Casey went, Kane just asked Reggie if he prison. won. I'll tell you, if you're on the floor, I can. Uh, I went JT. And again, Etzel with that strategy of eliminating the big men. However, the the uh, the uh, three uh -oh. other competitors in this matchup are pretty big men in their own right. Big punches there by Tyson. He has dangerous E Rock. Timber. I know what's coming next, the big leg drop. Forget about it. Kevin Phoenix in big trouble. All that pink over is making my eyes hurt. Bad intentions here. He is out. Kevin Phoenix. Kevin Phoenix must have about. Watch out below. Whoa. My Whoa. God, catapulted him. All the way out the door. Catapulted Matthews out of the matchup. Uh-oh. Oh. No, 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 no. But why? Ty Tyson is fighting it. He's fighting it hard. But he's upside down right now. But where's Phoenix? And and the interesting thing, oh, oh come on. Matthews, oh, it took two of them. Back and oh. Wow. Technically eliminated by, by Danger C. Corey oh, Here we go. Fight. They're fighting it out right now. Now look who's left, though. We got Danger C. And, 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 uh, and Kevin Phoenix. I'm telling you, Kevin Phoenix must have about four four leaf clovers tucked in those white socks of his. He's been almost eliminated about five times in this matchup. Yeah, he's been in this matchup the whole entire time. Stunner! Big stunner. Corey and Essel! He is the winner! There, there, goes, there goes Corey Essel! But however... Where's the referee? But where's Reggie? The referee did not see him. The referee did not see Corey Essel eliminated. Oh, no. He both feet clearly out. touched the ground, but there was no referee. The referee is trying to separate Matthews and, and Ty Tyson, but he was not here to call. He was not here to call that uh, Corey Etzel's uh, foot was on the, uh, both feet were clearly touching the ground, and Kevin Phoenix won this matchup. Yeah, the referee needs to get back in here. Who cares what they do? He needs to concentrate on the outside. Again, he throws him out. That is twice that Corey Essel has been eliminated from this matchup. However, we have got to get, we have got to get the official. It looks like Brian's going out there to get the official to see what's going on. Yeah. I mean, that's twice, like Brian said, twice Corey Essel's been eliminated. Oh, but here it comes, referee's in, and Kevin oh. Phoenix is eliminated. What a travesty of justice. 
Kevin Phoenix has he been eliminated by Corey Anderson. Four shot rumble. And now number one contender for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship, Dangerous Eve, Corey Edson! You know, there will be two referees in a match like this. Yeah, you're absolutely right, but uh, however, that uh, that's not what happened. And uh, yeah, he, was, he was not only eliminated once, he was eliminated twice by Kevin Phoenix, referee out of position. But again, that's that's the that's the thing. The referee, it's the referee's call. If he didn't see it, it didn't happen. But uh, folks, uh, uh, we, we may not be happy about the uh, the results of that matchup, but uh, it, it was a great one nonetheless. And uh, we're, we thank you for joining us here at AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling, and uh, we'll Kevin see you next we week. All saw you. That's right. Throw out Corey Edsel Good night, twice, good luck so long. And but there was no referee. Strike hard, strike fast. Corey Edsel, if you're anything of a man, you'll get in this ring right here, right now. Oh, we may not be done yet. There you hear it, a challenge from Kevin Phoenix to Corey Edsel. Will he answer it? We thought this show was over, but Kevin Phoenix has just called out Corey Edsel. However, as far as Corey Edsel is concerned, he's... He won this matchup. He gets his shot. And uh, and I don't see, he, I mean, maybe he will come out. Okay, it's Labor Day weekend. All I was gonna do was go to my hotel room and have some non-alcoholic beverages because quite frankly, yeah, right. you know, gotta stay fit. Kokoretso, if you don't get, you are no having talent waste of a man in this ring. I will go to the locker room, I will bring you in this ring, and I will beat your ass right here, right now. He said if he doesn't come out, he's gonna come and drag him out. Wow. Well, Corey Ansel the car. All I know is Corey Ansel came in, this, uh, he came in to the AWF Mid-Atlantic with a plan to get his shot at Justin Flash in the AWF Mid-Atlantic Championship. And that plan uh, came to fruition and he was able to get his shot. So. Looks like he's I, going after him. All right, folks, Kevin Phoenix is headed back to the locker room to find Corey Edsel. Wow, what an ending to tonight's show. Thank you guys for coming out. We'll be back here in two weeks on September 16th, September 16th in two weeks. But like it or not, Corey Edsel is the number one contender to Justin Flash's AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. He gets his shot at Fright Night on October 28th. All right, wrestling fans, we'll see you on September 16th. Thanks for coming out tonight. Until next time, so long for now. Don't forget to watch AIWF Ringside Wrestling tomorrow night on Facebook, and visit our YouTube channel, AIWF Ringside Wrestling on YouTube. Good night. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait. He was it. We thought this match was over. We thought it. Big stunner. Big stunner by Phoenix. A lot of people thought this, thought it was over, but uh, Phoenix was able to, to find Corey Edsel drag him back in the ring and give him that stunner. He did get a measure of revenge. However, what he isn't getting is the uh, shot at Justin Flash, the Mid-Atlantic Championship. Corey Edsel, even though he's laid out in the ring right now, he still gets that shot. Then be sure you join us on Facebook tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m for AIWF Ringside Wrestling. Check out the YouTube page, AIWF Ringside Wrestling. We'll see you next time, fans, and until then, so long for now.